to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to show you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, Time of Legends Joan of Arc, we still don't have any more updated information on shipping at this point. Our fulfillment manager is finally settled into his new place, but as it sometimes is on Mondays, new information can be spotty. I would imagine that we'll have new information coming available throughout the week, and we'll have more for you next week. Monster Apocalypse playthrough videos will be going up near the end of the week on our YouTube channel, so be on the lookout for those. And later this week, my family and I will be doing a live playthrough of Horrified American Monsters from Ravensburger for our Mythic Plays series on Thursday. So be on the lookout for that too. This week we have updates for Steam Watchers, Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2, and Monster Apocalypse. So let's get to it. For Steam Watchers today, just a short explanation for what happened last week with the first batch of address verification emails that went out in North America. Our hubs were getting an import error when trying to import our order list. They finally figured out that it had to do with an uppercase versus lowercase state because of a picky logistics system. While trying to fix the problem, they accidentally did a partial sort instead of a full Excel sheet sort, resulting in names and emails ending up going to different orders. The snafu was rectified and shipments began last Friday. If not already, backers should expect to receive updated address verification emails very soon. Now, since the mistake produced a sorting error, if you received a verification email in the first batch with the error, it doesn't mean that you'll necessarily receive another one right away. You'll get the updated address verification email once your order is about to be prepared for shipment in whatever order their system sorted it after rectifying the error. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net and we'll do our best to help. As I was doing my live Q&A on Friday, I, I also know that people were reporting getting their address verification emails in the UK as well. So things are moving in the right direction finally. Thank you so much for your patience and support. For Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2 today, just a brief update to say that your orders are currently being packaged up at the factory and being prepared for shipment. This unfortunately means that we won't be able to process any refunds from here on out and that our ability to assist those who did not finish their pledge manager will be limited. A bit ago, we alerted our Solomon Kane backers to the decision we made to hold its Wave 2 shipment back until we could ship it along with Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2 products in the same containers. Oversight kept us from posting that same update on the Round 2 campaign page, and we apologize for that, but we're trying to rect rectify that oversight here. We are planning on shipping Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2 and Solomon Kane Wave 2 together in November. As usually seems to be the case, I'd imagine we can expect some factory stills and videos soon. So if those are indeed shared from the factory, I promise we'll get them in front of your eyes as soon as we can. And now for you brawlers who live in or near France, you may want to see if you can make it to the Ludigeek Festival happening November 13th and 14th. On Saturday, November 13th, they'll be hosting a 1v1 Super Fantasy Brawl tournament. To register, you only need to send your details to Mike at MythicGames.net or Ludigeek at Hotmail.com. That's L-U-D-I-G-E-E-K at Hotmail.com. You need to act quickly, though, because registration for the event closes on November 5th. So don't miss out. For Monster Apocalypse this week, just a short reminder that the Kickstarter launches on Tuesday, November 2nd. That's just a week from today. There's a notify me on launch button that you can click at the link shown on the screen. So go ahead and do that if you've not done it already. This is going to be an epic campaign and you won't want to miss it at all. 
The core box will contain eight classic Monster Apocalypse monster miniatures and more than 40 support units spread over four factions. Guard, Pterosaurs, Planet Devourers, and Lords of Cthulhu. It will also contain over 20 plastic buildings, a strong double-sided game board, and all the dice, monster cards, tokens, unit cards, and other player boards necessary for play between two players. There will also be a Battle Royale three to four player expansion box, which will contain everything necessary for playing 2v1 or 2v2. Sets of dice, additional tokens, player dashboards, a two-sided game board, one side having a, a map for three players, and four players on the other side. And this Battle Royale expansion will be completely new and will feature five brand new Apex monsters, the ultimate evolution of iconic creatures from the game. Defender Extreme, Arctic Armadax, Mega Gorg Hadra, Insatiable Yashith, and Nightmare Galamaxis. The awesome news is that this expansion can be purchased independently without the need to add the core box. So I'm looking at you, veteran Monpok players. If you're new to the game, we've also been posting articles recently that provide a solid look into the game and a great way to familiarize yourself with it. Our most recent article talks specifically about the mechanisms involved in gameplay and how monster turns and units turns differentiate from one another. It details a lot, from how to use your units to hold certain objectives on the board, to the different power attacks your monsters employ as they duke it out above your support units. It also talks about round structure and how the action dice are used. It really gives a good understanding on what you can expect for your first game so that you can back with confidence once the campaign launches. So don't forget to go to the link provided and click the Notify Me on Launch button, and we'll hope to see you there on Tuesday November 2nd. Finally, I wanted to spend a bit of time talking about our Phoenix line of games and the concept behind it. Our concept in forming the Phoenix line was to bring back to life previously produced games that we as a company enjoy and want to see back in the limelight once again. Our first game to be introduced into the Phoenix line was Enchanters. Benoit and Leo both loved the game and desired to see it reach a wider swath of people. So we partnered with Gindy to revamp the game and offer a new expansion, East Quest. After successfully fulfilling that campaign, we've now offered pre-orders for another expansion, Darklands, and we also have plans for a full retail line of products for Enchanters to be released in the near future. This, in a nutshell, exemplifies what we want to see for future installments in our Phoenix line. While we have other games we've considered and are considering for this product line, we wanted to see what you all think would be a game or games ready to rise from the ashes and be reborn. It doesn't matter if it was a Kickstarter project or something released to retail. Simply put, any previously produced game that you think deserves a second wind, let us know in the comments below. Granted, this is by no means a cookie cutter model. Each game considered would undergo various levels of scrutiny to determine how best it could be included or not. We aren't looking for a bunch of square pegs that we seek to fit into a round hole, but we're interested to see what you all think might be a good candidate for the Phoenix line. So put your candidate game's name in a comment on this video with hashtag Phoenix line next to it. We'll take entries until Monday, November 1st, 2021 at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At that point, we'll randomly select one of your answers to win a core box copy of Super Fantasy Brawl, and then I'll announce the winner of the Super Fantasy Brawl core box on next week's newscast video, which will air on November 2nd. So, good luck! Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English, and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time, with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions, or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show. As mentioned earlier, my family and I will be doing a live playthrough on Thursday this week at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time in our Mythic Plays series. 
And I'll also be hosting a live Q&A on Friday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time to answer any questions you may want to ask me about whatever comes up. But that's it for today. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.